all right it's that time again canteen cup tuesday what we got in store today is we have some pork fried rice and as a as a substitute for a pork chop i'm using spam so i figured hey spam means spiced ham ham means pig pig means pork so that's where we're getting the pork for the pork fried rice i got two Spam singles. I got some Uncle Ben's teriyaki rice. I got a little uh, egg stir product because I want. I'm going to put that in the rice, and I got a little bit of soy sauce. But I'm reviewing a new little product that I got over the weekend. This is the Lixada folding camp stove, and this is the folding one, not the one that gets put together. And it's got the Trangia spirit burner in it. So uh, I tried it out on the workbench, and it uh, looked great. So I'm going to try it out for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the stove going, and we're going to get the uh, the pork cooking. And this is great. The Uncle Ben's, it says all you do is heat it up for 90 seconds in the microwave. And anything that you heat up for 60 or 90 seconds in the microwave and it's done is already cooked. So we don't have to boil the water. This is a this is an easy breezy trail meal. So I'm going to get the stove started, and I'm going to start cooking the Spam. All right, we're going to light up the little transient spirit burner here. Get that going. Got two spam singles. This stuff cuts so easy. Nice little chunks. Throw our spam. Wow, that's a lot. Little soy. And it's already sizzling. I think this is going to be a really cool stove set up. A little Trangia spirit burner and the Lixada folding stove uh, is not bad at all. And it's, it's already boiling the soy. I don't know whether you can hear it or not, but that is, that's boiling up. You can see the flame licking out of the back of the, the little Lixada stove, which is pretty cool. Now you can hear it sizzling. Oh yeah. Not hot enough yet. I'm gonna continue cooking that, and I'll be back. All right, that's sizzling pretty good. I only got like one ounce of of fuel in the stove, uh, and I'm using heat as alcohol fuel. So uh, I tested it out the other day when I got it, and one ounce burns for like 15 minutes. I mean, it's not as hot as the beer can stove, but it burns for longer. This is really sizzling now. This is a little eggster. All it says is the generic eggsters, little scrambled eggs. So it would be cool with the rice. So that's really cooking. We're gonna put the eggs products in here now. Scramble up a little eggs.
Woohoo! Man, that's really going. Now, the Uncle Ben's. This is already cooked. Just kind of add it little by little. soy go oops Get back in there All right, I did add just a little bit of water in there so it wouldn't burn. Because this spirit burner is hot, man. Woo. And there's a barking dog over there that I want to shoot. He's been barking for three hours straight. And this is looking pretty good. I'm going to let that heat up, and we're going to roll pork fried rice. There you go, in my canteen cup, in my new Luxata stove. Man, it's good. <clears throat> okay, in retrospect, it did need a little bit of water. It needed about a cup of water to help cook down the rice. But it is really wheeling now. Oh, See, it's smoking. Oh yeah, it's almost ready. Hmm. That is getting good. This couldn't be easier. I actually, in retrospect, I actually didn't need the eggs, the egg product, but the soy sauce made a difference. The soy sauce in the water. The Uncle Ben's is already cooked. The spam is already cooked. All I did is chunk up two two singles of spam, fry it up, get it nice and heated through, then put the rice in. A little bit of water, a little bit of soy sauce. And there you go. So this is cooking up nicely. And this Lixada stove is awesome. This was $10. Who knew? <laughs> and this is burning for a long time. Oh, yeah. So, hmm. This is going to cook for another couple minutes until the rest of the water is cooked down. And then I'll show you the finished product. All right. Nice and rice is getting nice and tender. It's starting to burn on the bottom a little bit. So I'm gonna pronounce it done. So Here we go. My version. Canteen Cup Tuesday. Pork fried rice. It makes, and that is about 16 ounces. Okay. So. Here we go. Taste test. 
Mmm. It's not like the Chinese restaurant, but it's pretty good. And it is smoking hot. Whew, man, that's hot. God. All right. Happy Canteen Cup Tuesday, everybody. My version of pork fried rice using Spam Singles and using Uncle Ben's teriyaki style rice with peas and carrots. I put a little egg stirs in there and a little soy sauce and a little water. <coughs> and this makes a lot. So today is my birthday, February 21st. Uh, remember to wish me a happy birthday in the comments. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but it is my birthday today on Canteen Cup Tuesday. So, here we go. Pork fried rice. This is Matt from Florida Boy Survival. See you next time.